Uh, could you come in after class to get some extra credit? Uh, yes, you can see me at my OnlyFans. I mean, uh, office hours. Bathroom breaks. I'm getting a lot of comments about bathroom breaks. I need a sort of diagram. Okay, so this is the class layout right here. This is the class. Here's professor. And these are your seats. Typical classroom layout. So the emergency exits are right here. But they are boarded up. They're boarded up. That's just how I do things. Bathroom breaks. Okay, let's just lay this to rest. I want your eyes forward. I don't want you to miss a second of lecture. If you, if you look underneath where you're sitting, right underneath you, there's a little, there is a system of troughs, uh, a system of piss troughs, really. And just, you can just, you can just let it go. Uh, Mesopotamia, the start of human civilization, they had aqueducts. The aqueduct system in Mesopotamia gave them an edge. Skip forward a few hundred years or thousand, hundred, whatever it might be. It's like this, you know, it's kind of like uh, what, what pigs eat out of, you know, like a trough. You know what a trough is? Hold on, what is this question? Is there a least sexy Pokemon that you'd still make love to? I don't know what you're exactly asking. Like, are you asking like, if I had like, here is Pokemon I would not do. And then this is like, I'm 100% for it. Like where is the, and this is like all the Pokemon and raking uh, a physical attractiveness. Like where the line is drawn between like the least attractive, but I'm still willing to go. I'd have to think about that. For me, it's not a gradient. It's either yes or no. I don't have like a limit. It's like, I would smash or I won't. You know what I mean? Strodinger's pokey waifu. On our pokey waifu lecture, I talked about the, the idea, is it ethical to be with a Pokemon intimately? And I said, yes. Why? Because Pokemon can think, they can feel, they can care. They have a higher level of, of, of communication ability with their trainers. Ash and them, they, you know, Pika goes, Pika Pika, and Ash is like, ah, yes, that is an interesting point, but you know, that, that's dangerous territory. And if they can think critically like that, I think that they can, they can love. And if they can love, they can fuck. And I got a lot of comments, they're like, Professor Orlando. Listen, I appreciate the thought. I, I like that my students are, are putting in the effort and that the cogs are turning. I saw a lot of comments saying, Professor, but doesn't that apply to dogs? I got bad news for you. I don't think your dog is as smart as you think it is. Like you, you have a dog and it rummages through your trash. It, you can see it like acting guilty. Actually, what they found was dogs don't, don't, they don't have the capability. They don't have the higher level thinking to be guilty. They're just fearful of the punishment. You know that movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven? That was a fiction movie. So if people are trying to draw the parallel between my analysis of Pokemon having higher level thinking, having a soul, able to care, able to love, and drawing a parallel with dogs, I got bad news for you. Your dog isn't as smart as you think. But I wanna go over something really important. You guys know this, submissive on one side, breedable on the other. We're gonna be introducing a new concept to this. You should know this. What do we find here? And the cross section of where submissive and breedable meet. Good, paying attention. Bussy. Here we have among us, submissive and breedable, intersecting with among us that, that's sussy. Going further, here we have a Japanese insult. Submissive, breedable, bussy. Submissive, breedable, among us, sussy. Submissive, breedable, among us, Japanese insult. That's a sussy baka. That's a sussy baka. This will be on the test. Again, continuing from Monday, I told you class we would do this again. I will be diagramming Pokemon from memory. Lucario. So, uh, so like I said, Lucario is, is like a dog. So we'll start, we'll start there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think it's got kind of an angry face. Sharp ears? I think it has sharp ears. So I know that its legs, if this sticks out to me. It looks like it has shorts on, like this. I think it has like a spike. I think it has like a spike coming through. Not really sure. So it's, it's like a, what's the tail? Is it like, we'll, <laughs> we'll hold off on the tail. Doesn't it have spikes on its hand too? I feel like it does. Okay, so I know it has like, there's something going on with the head. Is it like ponytails or something? Or, or like, like, a, like, a, like a headband? Does it have a tail? 
Is it a short tail? Is it a Pikachu tail? No, that doesn't, it, the tail's not looking right, but I feel like it has a tail, so I'm gonna give it a short tail. Lucario, let's tie it in. You know, I teach a holistic experience here at Ligma University. Where on the furry scale would this be? Do we need a quick reminder? This is furry, right here. Three, four, five, five? Are you kidding me? Five is just like your dog, your chihuahua. Not, it's, it's not a five. It's, it's upright. Also, can't Lucario talk? Four, people, I see a lot of fours. I don't know, I don't know, maybe a 3.5, but like a hard four? Whoever, you know what, I'm not gonna say four is wrong. Maybe, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards three. But who's saying five? I need to, we need to talk about this. So I think this is what you guys are missing. Okay, but this is what I, I'm having a little trouble grasping. And you know, this is where the social sciences and the hard sciences meet. I, I'm getting a lot of people, you know, I, I said that I'm, I think I'm a two, but I'm willing to go to three. I am willing to make that if, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not an active participant and I am not actively looking for a three, but I, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to, come on. There's extremes. Like five is that, that's, that's, that's illegal, I think, in a lot of places, all places. But you know what's also an extreme? Is I'm receiving a lot of comments from students saying that, that they're like, the furthest I'll go professor is one. Listen, in my opinion, only being one is just as weird as only being five. You're, you're not even gonna, not even two? Not even two? That's some serial killer thinking. Like not even two. Come on, be honest with yourself. Interesting, the Animal Crossing proportions. That's like a 3.5. Animal, Isabel, the Animal Crossing, like a 3.5. Because again, four is like, like very much just an animal stood upright with more conscious thought. These are physically the same. It's mental, that's the difference. What, what does this, what is, she, is that what Isabel, <laughs> I don't know what Isabel looks like. But you know, they're definitely chonky and they don't have long limbs, humanoid limbs. But listen, you're telling me, you know, you're ch 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 walking around your Animal Crossing village and you see Whitney over there, you see Anka over there. You know, you, know, you don't give a little like, mm, 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 if only. If only this was Ready Player One, I can dive into the Oasis right now. I'd be crossing these animals for sure, if you know what I'm saying. We covered why being intimate with Pokemon is morally okay. And so I'll be, we'll, we'll be reviewing the rest of your taste right now. Is this Ludicolo? <laughs> so in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, physical attractiveness, the Ludicolo is, I don't know, am I missing something? In terms about waifu, it's not only about physical attractiveness. You want, you want a best friend in your waifu. And Ludicolo looks like he has a lot of fun, you know, right? It's it, Ludicolo, <laughs> Ludi. You're, you're gonna share a laugh. You're gonna share a laugh. And actually, actually, now that I'm looking, when they talk about duck lips, Ludicolo here, got that, what, what, those, what do those lips do though? If you're okay with these like, kind of like, fish eyes looking up at you. Unexpected, B plus. Pudding, this is just a Bidoof. You didn't even include an explanation. What am I supposed to take away from this? That's just a Bidoof. It's even got like buck teeth. That's gotta be an F. Uh, a low muck, <laughs> what is this? Is this a real card? Muck and a lowland muck? Two mucks? So two for one, muck. So yeah, you know what? Uh, I mean, actually, you know, I was gonna say like, you watch a lot of hentai. Or, or I don't know. I've done a lot of research on people who have watched a lot of hentai. But it, I think it, it's common, a common theme is like the jelly blob slime enveloping the entire body and you're just floating in an amorphous experience of slimy pleasure. I can imagine that with a muck. However, however, that's surface level thinking here at Ligma University. We like to dig a little deeper. Is it, muck is toxic. It's, it's poisonous. You're gonna die. You're, it's like when Joker fell in the thing. You're gonna turn into the Joker. It's like chemicals and stuff. F, gotta be an F. Mega Gardevoir? Oh, that's when they're all, is, is that when they're all big? That's not the only thing getting big, you know what I'm saying? Sheesh. I like this, even more milfy Mega Gardevoir is. Oh yeah, and, and in fact, do you see? This is what I, I A plus, A plus, 
Mega Mommy, yes, the Mega Milf of Pokemon, Mega Gardevoir, you see the things jutting out of its chest? So Gardevoir has one. Mega Gardevoir has the two chest things. So I think this is great because you imagine you're, you're gonna get intimate with Mega Gardevoir, like a missionary. You can, you can grab, you can like grab onto them like a, like a Star Wars speeder. And you can just go to, <laughs> you can just go to town on that. Two little grips. A plus for Mega Gardevoir. All right, Baps, Feromosa, tall and sassy. Okay, okay, I can recognize beauty when I see it. It's, it's elegant. Also, a little bit of an attitude, I think. Hmm. I don't know. I need some meat. I need to be able to grab on. I do like the dominant kind of feel, the kind of vibe of this. Have you guys been watching this? Do you guys know Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro? You guys read any of this? Or is it even out? I'm not sure. You kind of want to get bullied. It's kind of, you want to kind of get bullied a little bit. You know, not like abuse. All right, come on, what are we doing? But just a little bit of an attitude. It's kind of fun, it's kind of playful. I see that here. Uh, Rosaria? Is that right? Or am I thinking of a Digimon? No, if it was Digimon, it'd be like Rosariomon or something. Roserade, Roserade. Very sensual, you know, kind of like, ooh. Like, it's like, ooh. You looking over here? It's also kind of, whoa, it's kind of thick. I like it, I like the plumpness to it. The question is, is it thorny? Because if it's thorny, then it's a no-go. I want to, I'm inclined to say yes, because it is called, literally rose arrayed and it literally has like those are roses on his arms oh my gosh snack pack pudding you're right that's a little kinky though a little bit of a prick mm. actually this went from an f to an a plus in my book a plus vespa queen does it produce honey <laughs> mm -mm. i'll be slurping that honey all day and you're right very thick very thick and very queenly she's a little dominant one, two, three, four, five, I see six holes that are readily apparent on the surface. You got some friends, invite them over. Mm -hmm.